He's Nick Foles, the uh, Pro Bowl quarterback of the Eagles. What's that like? You see Marino. Did you see Jerry Seinfeld? I didn't get to say hi to him. I walked in, and I, I was able to see him speaking. I was back in the trailer laughing, just listening to him talk. What's it like when you walk by Marino and you realize? Oh, I mean, you know, it's someone I've always looked up to, and it's a, you know, it's just cool to meet him and just, you know, shake his hand. It's, you know, it's crazy. It's surreal. But do you want to, do you have a question for him in that moment, or are you just? No, I, th I think just saying, seeing how he's doing, and then, uh, you know, him and LaShawn went to the same college, so. You know, talked a little bit about that, but, uh, you know, it was just great meeting him and just seeing how he's doing. Are you famous yet? No, nah, I mean, definitely getting more recognized, but I think that has to go with everybody comparing me to Napoleon Dynamite. That's probably where the popularity is coming. Have you met John Heater? I have not. I'm sure I know that with how everything works, that'll come pretty soon. So uh. I saw you, first time I saw you with your helmet on, I came in and told the Danettes, I said, I just saw Napoleon Dynamite play football. And they go, what? And I said, yeah. I said, this Nick Foles guy, he got a cannon, but he looks like Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a resemblance. I, I got to own up to that, but hey. Can you yeah. can you imitate Napoleon Dynamite? Nah, I, I can't. I can't quite do it. Well, I'll you might that. as well do it if you're going to be all in on it. You might as well. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever I feel like. Gosh. <laughs> Uh, I, I see this now more and more, quarterback hand size. So we want to know how tall you are and how big your hands are. Uh, Does that matter? I mean, I guess, it, I don't know. I really don't think so. I think it's all in your heart, you know. I mean, there's so many quarterbacks, different shapes and sizes, and, you know, every, you know, there's great ones all around. So I don't think it really matters. I think everybody analyzes a lot of stuff with height, hand size, whatever. I mean, it definitely helps in different, you know, aspects of the game, but there's guys that, you know, are shorter that do amazing things. So it's just really adapting to playing the game and just having a great feel for the game. But knowing what you know now, if I said to you coming out of college, this is what's going to be the most important thing, what, what would that be to be successful in the NFL? Uh, definitely a short memory. I think always staying true to your roots because in the NFL, you know, especially when you start playing well, a lot of opportunities come your way, so you always got to know where your roots are, know who you are. So if you lose that, you could lose that desire to be great, and then you start struggling because you still got to play. You know, it's off season right now, doing media stuff, but I got to make sure, you know, when I get out of here, I'm working. I'm getting better so that next year I, I can be even better than I was before. When did you know you and Vic had a, an actual friendship? You can be competitive, but have a friendship. The first time I met Mike uh, on my visit to Philadelphia when I wasn't even drafted, um, walked into the room, and uh, he right there. I'd never met him before. Of course, I knew who Mike Vick was. You know, everybody knows who Mike Vick is. And uh, came up, gave me a hug. He's like, it's great to meet you. And I was like, man. <laughs> so then when I got drafted, you know, he was always great. He was always great. And, you know, we have a great friendship. I was actually just, we were just texting a second ago, just trying to, you know, catch up while we're here because, you know, we've been away from, uh, you know, we haven't been together for about a month now. So just trying to see how he's doing and catch up. You think he's going to be with the Eagles next year? You know, I, I have no idea. That's out of, you know, our control. Um, I love Mike, and no matter where he is, I will always support him throughout his career. But he wants to play. Yeah, he does. He's a competitor. Mike's a competitor. We play, you know, we'll play a little basketball, and, you know, you should see him compete on a basketball court. You know, he, it brings a little bit of uh, something else out in you on a basketball court, so we have some competitors on the team. Can you take him in hoops? Uh, we, we were always on the same team, so we're different <laughs> players. You know, we had a little alley oop action, me and him, first play, but you know, we have some fun. Were you throwing it to him or he was throwing it to no, you? No, he actually threw it to me. I can get up a little bit, and you know, he, he can throw those nice passes. But Mike can still flat foot dunk. First thing I walk in the gym, Mike running the basket, just flat foot, just slams it. Man, you know, this is one of the best athletes I've ever seen. But we always talk about the speed with the NFL. That's the difference between, you know, you're playing in the Pac-12 with a lot of great athletes, yeah. then you go in the NFL. The, I guess describe that difference to us because we'll never experience. Uh, Pac-12 is a, a fast conference. There's a lot of fast um, athletic guys. But the NFL, you know, you get the best of the best. So everything, I remember my rookie year, everything was just, especially during camp, like you hit that fist, that ball's out, ball, ball's out. And it's faster than you've ever you know, you're, you're dropping the guys open. You're not even ready. So it's just that growing pain. And then you get into a game, it's even faster. And then you get, you know, playoff games, they're faster. Um, so uh, it's one of those natural progressions where, man, like, that's where short memory comes in. Because if you let that affect you, like, your first time to play, you're like, oh, this is how it's always going to be. You know, you probably won't be able to make it. But if you're like, hey, I'm going to keep getting better each day, eventually your body just adjusts because the body's an amazing thing, your mind and everything. And, you know, it once you, you know, 
it's one of those things you always got to work on because if you don't, it's going to it's going to smack you in the face. Chip Kelly's a fascinating guy. At what when did you realize that this is something a little bit different than I've been taught before? His offense. I mean, I think when you see a guy hold up cards with pictures on the sidelines and. <laughs> You know, that, that's something different, but... Uh, I'm What's all, the strangest picture he held up, they held up this year? Oh, man, I I think... They didn't do Napoleon Dynamite, did they? No, nah, that'll probably be to come. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you. I didn't I didn't really look at the pictures because that was more of a, you know, when the defense and other things were on, and I I got it, I got the headset on, so I don't really have to worry about it. And if I look at the picture, I'll probably start <laughs> laughing during the game, so I, I can't be doing that. Did you go to more classes or spend more time um, doing Xbox when you were at Arizona? Uh, you know, I, I go to class, but right after that, you know, you, you definitely get on the <laughs> Xbox. And, you know, we, a big one now is playing, uh, you know, NHL. Uh, Call of Duty's always been big. So, uh, you know, Xbox and Xbox One, you know, that's. Are you the I'm, Eagles when you play? Uh, yeah, I, I'll play with the Eagles. Um, honestly, I've been playing NHL with the guys. You know, we'll, oh, you we'll play, we play NHL. I like playing sports. I don't really. Uh, know know what I'm doing, so so uh, you wouldn't play Madden and be you. No, nah, I, I just I, f I feel like that'd be weird. Uh, would you like to go against you? Yeah, I think it'd be fun. I what think would I, you do against you? Uh, I'd probably just I don't know. I'd, I'd want me. I'd try to pick myself off or something. <laughs> I'd try, I don't know. Probably try to sack me if I was going against me. Blit, blitz you? Blitz you? Do everything? Uh, you gotta mix it up. I don't I don't know. What's your uh, forty yard dash time? Oh, I mean, forever. I don't know. I mean, it, <laughs> is that four and then ever? Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, I, I got. I, I or can, is it five ever? Oh, it, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't quite know. I just know that I, I'm some I always work on, and uh, you know, if I do run, I'm gonna get as much as I can, and you know, try to help the team out in any way possible. But we get caught up on numbers. You know, we get caught yeah. up on, and, and I always say it's intangibles. So you look at Russell Wilson; it's intangibles. Yeah, it is. It's intangibles. Uh, being able to fill the game. Uh, being able to make plays because, you know, 80% of the game, 70% of the game, you'll be able to set back, you'll be able to hand off, do whatever, you know, go through the routine of it. But there's going to be that 20, 25, whatever percent of the game where you got to make plays on your feet, you got to move in the pocket, do all that. And that's what, you know, the great ones do, Breeze, Rodgers, Brady, Manning, you know, they move around and they, they keep the play alive by working that pocket. Uh, you want to give a plug here for Xbox One? Yeah, I mean, I, I've always loved Xbox, and now they, they have a new app, uh, NFL app you can download on the Xbox One playoff face-off, and it's really neat. Uh, you know, the Super Bowl uh, this Sunday, you know, you can actually answer questions like, is Decker going to have over 100 yards? Um, is Richard Sherman going to get a pick? And you answer the questions, you, you go through it all, and you compete against your friends, family, uh, people across the nation. So it's it's a way to interact and show your knowledge of the game while it's going on. And then, you know, you can keep track. If something does happen, say uh, Sherman gets a pick and he go, you know, does his thing, you know, it's going to show, hey, you got your points for it. And it's just a fun way to interact and for fans to really get involved. And I think it's a, a great, great thing. Good. Good to visit with you, Nick. Congrats on your success this year. If you want to go upstairs and shoot hoops, uh, you're allowed to during the commercial break there. I, I might we'll see do what that. Kind of, I'll be the alley to your oop if you want to. Awesome.